so welcome back to VBAR 101. Today I'm going to show you how to sign the drivers for your when you have a 64 bit version of the Windows 7, like I have here. The drivers won't load automatically because Microsoft has, ha has said that every driver that needs to go into the system needs to be signed, and there we need to go around that. So first of all, I've hooked up my VBAR system to the computer and I got the error message saying there was no driver found. So what I go in and do a property on my computer and then I go to the device manager uh, and here I see other devices, the VStubby virtual flybar controller. So I actually need to load, first of all, I need to load a valid or actually non-signed driver so I get those into the system. So select update driver software, browse my computer and then you browse to your uh, VBAR installation directory um, that is under program files uh, let's see here, VBAR, have a different version here USB driver and then select OK press next and install this driver anyway so now it will install the driver but we will get uh, an error on the controller either anyway because it the driver isn't signed but we need to go through this step uh, and now we have it detects it as a, a USB device but the, actually the driver if we look here cannot verify so then we take it to the next step and go through um, how to sign this driver so we get it certified the next step is to download the certification tool you see the URL here uh, to a link to it from the VStubby site and we download this and save that to our desktop agree on the uh, license agreement save this so now I'm gonna uh, give access right to myself for those two drivers files we actually uh, install via when we install the driver for the VBAR so I go into C colon Windows system 32 and drivers directory here I will have the two drivers listed on the VStubby site if you follow the guide as well they are called silab.sys and siusbx.p.sys so right click on that one choose properties security and then we if we highlight my my own user uh, and I don't have full access so edit select users again and full control apply and yes I want to change that OK, OK, go down to the other file, do the same thing over again, security, uh, edit, select the users, full control, apply, and yes, and we're good to change the, now we are good to start using the certification tool. So what the first thing I'm going to do is to run it. You get a warning that you need administrative rights. Uh, you can right click. Actually, I'm going to do that so sh I show you instead. Right click. Whoops. Right click and run as administrator is a better way to do it. So we get sure that it works and yes on that one. Now I'm going to enable test mode. That's the first thing you're going to do. And as I do that, we need, will need to reboot. So I'm going to come back uh, after I've done a reboot here. So we're back after reboot. Uh, I'm now going to start this uh, program again. Uh, it's time to sign the actual drivers. Uh, we go next and yes, and then uh, what I would like to do is I prepared it here. I bring over uh, here. You see the driver names again. So I just copy because I have the correct path and everything. Uh, sign a system file. I select and then next. 
type in this your uh, path again and press OK. This is now signed. We need to sign the other one as well. So I do a copy of that line and sign a system file and OK. Now I can actually remove watermarks as well. Let's do that next and done and exit. Now I'm going to reboot once more and uh, let's come back and see how it goes. So now we're back after a second reboot and if I know, now go in under right click on the computer and device manager and actually because I don't have an exclamation mark it's here under USB controller and it's good to go. Make sure you have uh, uh, power to the V-bar before you start the uh, VStavi program to make sure else it won't you won't get connection. But you're good to go. So that's the step to get it running on a 64-bit version of uh, Windows 7.